You know the first official visit of Japanese government officials to North America and Europe? As I mentioned in the previous part, the entourage reached Seville on October 23rd, 1614, ready to discuss the expansion of trade. The group is often called the Keicho Embassy, named after the era being used to measure time back in Japan. From Seville, they went to Madrid and arrived there on January 30th, 1615. Once there, they met with King Philip. Suninaga brought a letter to King Philip from Date Masamune and requested a treaty. The king responded that he would do what he could. Keeping to his promise of being baptized in Spain, Suninaga was baptized at the convent of Las Descalzas Reales. He was renamed Felipe Francisco Hasakura, and the Duke of Lerma served as his godfather. From there, the group traveled across Spain while waiting for permission to go to Rome. The group received the permission in August of that year and left that same month. The Japanese embassy boarded three Spanish frigates to sail across the Mediterranean and towards Italy. Bad weather would force a stop in Saint-Tropez, France, where they would spend a few days. Reports on the visit include mentions of the Japanese embassy using chopsticks instead of their hands, how sharp their swords were, and the really odd custom of using tissue paper to blow their noses. The meeting is considered the first official visit between Japan and France. The embassy eventually reached Rome on September 20th, 1615, with the plan of meeting the Pope and spreading the Christian faith. Back in Japan, the Tokugawa eliminated their last remaining opposition in the Siege of Osaka, which ended in June of 1615. This quashed any initial hope of a Christian resurgence within the country. So while Suninaga was talking about Japan opening itself to Christianity, word of the persecutions were already headed back towards Europe. If you like my Japanese history snippets, please follow, subscribe, like, and share my videos. And if you like books set in medieval Japan, please check out my works. Thank you very much.